So apparently, I was passed up from Motors because I refused an order um, on bikes. That's the whole reason why I was passed up. It was from the incident that you and I had that I wouldn't do the misdemeanor arrest, so they're passing me up on on motors. I guess got word that I am insubordinate because I wouldn't do the five tickets a day. Yeah, they picked. Yeah, they picked up. Uh, there was four people on the list, and they took three, and not me. I think that they I think that they've got me wrong based on it wasn't the fact that I didn't want to work. I mean, clearly you can see the numbers. I had the highest numbers anyway. It was just the fact that I just didn't think that it was right that Porsche was making us do five misdemeanor tickets per day. And I understand where you're coming from because you're the supervisor and you're just getting a uh, you know direct order, I guess. but I feel like I stood up for what I thought was, you know, well, what I know to be right by saying, hey, to arrest citizens, you know, I mean, to put a misdemeanor arrest on somebody's record because we have to hit these certain numbers is, is absolutely wrong. Well, I'll disagree with you, but you're not going out and generating crime. You're out there enforcing crime. Everything that comes across you is a crime. They put the misdemeanor on themselves. wasn't an issue of working that that wasn't the problem the problem I think the problem was in, for, for me was it was the fact of hey this our, our discretion kind of goes away you know but I, I don't know I'm just I'm so bugged because this is gonna haunt me forever yeah No, she did. She told me. She straight up told me that out of his mouth, he said he he was told by a sergeant, and it was deliber he deliberately disobeyed an order. I don't even know what the exact number is. I'm guessing it's right around 20 tickets a day. They have to write. If you want to be a motor, you have to have the next number that you write, you have to write so many tickets. This is black and white blue up there, and it has been that way for you. So it's just an issue. I just, this is my thing. I just want to be, you know, on the record, this is the reason why. Not because, if they think that it's because you know, I was being insubordinate to you because I didn't like you or this or this. That wasn't it. I mean, you could clearly see prior months before, I was like 80 tickets, 80 tickets. My biggest concern isn't so much that you had great stats before, after. It's the fact that when it was asked of you to write this number of tickets, you uh, dug your heels and said, ooh, no, now that you've told me, I don't. And again, this isn't anything that's coming from me. This by well, everyone in the whole thing and knows about us through the FTO. Uh, the knows about us through the FTO. Mm -hmm. knows about it, and um, uh, I don't know where it's coming from. I, I, I did something that I felt I needed to do, so I understand that there's consequences to my action. All I'm calling to tell you that I feel like it's wrong. That's all. I don't agree with it, but I do sympathize where. You make a decision years ago, and it blocks you down the road. I don't. Well, it's what's sad is that people. What's sad is that people will. You know that a lot of these people that are high up in any kind of organization, 
they go against that that conscience you know hey we're going to do this 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 and their conscience is telling them but they but but this is the funny thing they go against it because they don't want to they want to continue to either stay at the pay that they're at or they don't or they want to get promoted because they they don't dare to say anything you know and it just it's crazy to me you know and i understand hey ultimately you know a lot of people move up the chain because they they just comply with what's you know you're just going to do it because i told you to do it and well what if it's wrong you know what if i mean this is something that i'm going to have to battle i mean it's out there it's there's nothing i can do about it now except for you know let people know my intentions behind everything yeah and then let them decide you know and that's not what police work was made to do in the first place police work was made we're peace officers we're supposed to keep the peace not i want to look at somebody and say how can i help you versus i want to look at that person and say um how am i going to arrest you yeah. Yeah,